it is indeed an honor for us as the city of Demers to honor one of our hometown heroes, Baseball Hall of Famer Johnny Mize. I want to thank uh, Representative Terry Rogers and thank Senator John Wilkinson for helping us push this through uh, the legislature and it is indeed our honor for us to be able to again um, honor Johnny Mize and his family for his contributions to this city and for his baseball playing prowess and uh, without further ado I'll turn it over and let y'all say a few words. Well just a just a quick couple of things we were we were very very proud to introduce this legislation honoring uh, the late uh, Johnny Mize. I had the pleasure of knowing Mr. Mize he was a great man I thought it was a great athlete, but a great person and a great asset to this community. You know, it was kind of funny. Uh, he didn't get elected to the Hall of Fame until a little bit later on. He always had the respect of his players but uh, that, that played with him, but maybe not necessarily with the media. And that's why he didn't get the votes in there. But, uh, you know, he finally got in, and I think it was 1983. And it was, a, uh, it was a pretty phenomenal thing. I can remember the excitement still when he was elected, and so we're glad to do this. John, anything? Just glad to be here, and I just echo what Terry said. And it is a real honor to be here and honor someone like uh, Johnny Mice, someone who had the great career that he did and finished his career with over 300 batting average. As politicians, if we could finish our career with that good an average, <laughs> we we might be in the Hall of Fame too. I, I think we'd be remiss if we didn't mention former state senator John Foster. And I'm going to mention my dad. My dad worked with John Foster, and they worked very hard to do the the, the heavy lifting on on moving John Johnny Mize forward in uh, getting uh, the votes needed necessary for the Baseball Hall of Fame. And uh, and so um, I'm I'm proud of both of them as well. But all the all the accolades go to Johnny Mize and for what he's done. And we're proud that he is a part of our city and his legacy is a part of our city. I think it's well said. And I would like to read the resolution before I present it to you, Mr. Mayor, and, and I would like to thank uh, the City of Denver, the Mayor, and the Council for, for going forward with this. I think it's a great thing. It says, dedicating certain portions of state highway system and for other purposes. Whereas, Mr. John Robert Johnny Mize was born in 1913 in Denver, Georgia. And whereas, an extraordinary athlete, Johnny began his career in Major League Baseball in 1956 with the St. Louis Cardinals. And whereas, he went on to play with the New York uh, Giants before retiring from the New York Yankees in 1953. And whereas he amassed incredible hitting and slugging records with a 300 batting average in nine consecutive seasons. Pretty amazing. And 51 home runs in 1947 alone. And whereas Johnny played in five World Series championships and was elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1981. And whereas it is abundantly fitting and proper for the extraordinary accomplishments of this distinguished Georgian to appropriately be recognized by, building, by dedicating the bridge in his memory. Now therefore be it resolved and enacted by the General Assembly of the State of Georgia that the bridge on State Road 385 Old Highway 441 over Camp Creek in Habersham County is dedicated to the John, as the Johnny Mize Memorial Bridge. Be it further resolved that the Department of Transportation is authorized and directed to erect and maintain appropriate signs dedicating the road facilities named in this resolution. I think that's a good place to stop and Mr. Mayor if you'll 